The Santa Maria teen known as Maribel S. was found guilty last week, accused of killing her newborn son. The verdict has prompted the police and fire department to remind new mothers and fathers about the safely surrendered baby law. News Channel 3's Sean Larson joins us live outside the Santa Maria Fire Department with that story. Sean? Tracy, yeah, you may have seen these signs before. They're posted on every fire station here in town, and they're meant for new parents who don't think they're fit to be parents yet to be able to drop off their newborn child here. No questions asked. Gabe. We call him Gabe, but it's Gabriel Feeland, and he's five. Santa Maria mother Katie Feliz says if the Santa Maria teen known as Maribel S. had known about the safely surrendered baby law, that baby still might be with us today. Feliz says if you're a new mother without a support system, you're not alone. Maybe someone could have helped her and gave her the advice to go to something like that. Maribel S. was found guilty of second degree murder on Friday, accused of murdering her newborn son. It's very easy to get overwhelmed with a newborn at a very young age. The Santa Maria Maria Police Department and Fire Department wants you to know that if you just gave birth and are in trouble, you do have resources. The whole point of the whole thing is just to make sure that the that the parent and the, and the child are safe. If your newborn child is less than 72 hours old and you don't think you're ready to be a parent, you can bring that baby to any fire station or hospital in the city. The drop-off is confidential and the parent is protected from prosecution for child abandonment. Without, I mean, any question and they come in, we'll take custody of the child, do any medical care that's necessary, call an ambulance, we'll take them to the hospital. The hospital then gets in touch with child welfare services and finds that baby a home. We would much rather have, have a child come and be taken care of and at least buy some time instead of something tragic happening. That's what that child needs is a safe environment and to be loved the way a child should be loved. The parent has 14 days to take their child back if they change their mind. I couldn't imagine not having my son in my life today. And nearly 800 babies have been surrendered in California since 2001. Live in Santa Maria, Sean Larson, News Channel 3. Thank you, Sean.